Hi friends, welcome to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Monday, so it's meal prep day. I have three fantastic, and I mean fantastic recipes for you this week, breakfast, lunch, and a dessert that is amazing. So if you're excited for another meal prep video, give this one a big huge thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell next to it so you never miss a single upload. I do upload most days of the week, so don't miss out. Down in that description box, you're going to find all three of today's recipes. They are on my recipe website, so I'll make sure that is linked at the top of the description box. You'll also find nutrition coaching where I offer personal to you macros and calories. Highly, highly recommend. You have to know where you should fall every day to be successful. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching for a little bit more individualized support. You can find my nutrition website down in the description box as well. Links, discounts to all my favorite things and my Facebook group. Head on over and join us. We have a fun challenge starting May 1st. So we have some cooking to do, three recipes to make. So let's get started. For my breakfast this week, I'm making an everything bagel cheesy breakfast bake. So we're going to make two ingredient dough. So if you don't know how to do that, I'll be showing you that in today's video. And we're gonna pair this with some everything but the bagel, bacon, cheese. It's going to be incredible. So of course we're going to need some bacon. I'm using the Hempler's Center Cut Bacon. Light cheese blend of your choice. I prefer the Trader Joe's. Everything but the bagel seasoning. I pick mine up at Trader Joe's, but I know you can find it at Walmart and Costco. Laughing Cow Cheese, eggs, milk of your choice. I'm just using the Forager Cashew Milk. To make the two ingredient dough, we'll need some 0% non-fat Greek yogurt. I think Faye works the best. It makes it less tacky and sticky, in my opinion. And then of course, some self-rising flour, some salt and pepper. So the first step is to make the two ingredient dough bagel. So I have one cup of self-rising flour. Now when you generally make these, it's a one-to-one. -one. one cup of the flour, one cup of the non-fat Greek yogurt. I generally don't do that because I want the dough to not be super sticky and hard to work with. So I just slowly add in the non-fat Greek yogurt until I have the desired dough consistency. I will get in there and use my hands to finish mixing it together. That way I can make sure that the dough isn't too tacky. So just remember, you can always add in more of the Greek yogurt, but you can't take it away. So just go little by little until you have that right consistency. Now that my dough is the perfect consistency, it's not too tacky, so I can work with it. I have a baking sheet here that I've sprayed with some nonstick cooking spray. And then I want to make six bagels. So I'm going to divide the dough into six servings. I like to pre-divide just to make sure that I'm as equal as I can with the six servings of the dough. Once I have my six servings figured out, then I'm going to go ahead and roll those into a ball and then roll them into a snake. And this way I can fold them into that bagel shape. ingredient dough bagels is to make sure that your dough isn't too tacky. That's why I slowly add in my Greek yogurt until I have that right consistency. These were actually really easy to work with. So now I'm going to brush them with an egg wash and sprinkle on some everything but the bagel. Now sprinkle on your seasoning. So these are going to go in a 375 degree oven for about 30 minutes or until the bagels are cooked through. The egg wash will definitely help that seasoning stick. While the bagels are in the oven, I'm going to add six slices of my center cut bacon to a paper towel. And then I just put that in the microwave. That's the fastest way to cook up the bacon. Bagels are out of the oven. They are nice and crispy. Now, if your bagels aren't crispy, you'll want to toast these before putting together the breakfast casserole, or you can make these the night before so they've hardened up a little bit either way so the first thing I'm going to do is slice my bagels in half and then I'm going to spread a wedge of laughing cow cheese on each bagel Now 
Now we're going to go ahead and crack six eggs into a bowl. This is that egg I used for the egg wash. I hardly used any of it, so I'm going to count that as one egg. Crack five additional eggs, and then add in one and a half cups of my cashew milk, almond milk, whatever milk you're using. I'm going to add a little bit of pepper and salt. Whisk this together until fully mixed. First thing we're going to do is just take those bagel pieces covered with the Laughing Cow cheese and put them in the bottom of a 9 by 13 baking dish that I sprayed with some nonstick cooking spray. I'm going to sprinkle about two thirds of this crumbled up bacon right over the top of the bagels and a third or so of the cheese. This is two thirds of a cup of shredded cheese. Next, I'm going to pour that egg mixture evenly over the top of the bagels. Now I'm going to sprinkle on the rest of the bacon and the rest of the cheese, and then top it with some everything but the bagel seasoning. I'm going to pop this into the fridge for about an hour. I want the bagels to have the opportunity to absorb a lot of that egg mixture. One hour later. So it's been about an hour. I just pulled out the breakfast casserole. This goes in a 350 degree oven covered in foil for about 40 minutes. You want to make sure the eggs are cooked completely through. So if you shake, it's not jiggly. Look at how delicious this breakfast casserole looks. This looks amazing. It took about 50 minutes to cook completely. Again, when I shake it, I don't see any jiggle and that's what we want. We want to make sure the eggs are cooked completely through. So for the breakfast casserole, it makes a total of six servings. So quite a large serving. It is five points on the blue and purple plan and seven on green because of course you have to count for the eggs, 280 calories. My recommendation and what I'm going to be doing is just pairing this with a side of fruit for an additional zero point and very minimal calories and that should be a nice well-rounded breakfast for my lunches this week I'm making a barbecue chicken pasta this is a one pot lunch so it's very simple not dirtying up a lot of dishes so what you're going to need for this recipe is some center cut bacon an onion Barbecue sauce of your choice. I'm using this Sweet Baby Ray's No Sugar Added. I like this one much better than the G Hughes. You'll need about a pound of chicken breast. This is my organic grass-fed, grass-finished chicken from ButcherBox. This is the best chicken I've ever had. It's a little bit more expensive because it is a higher quality chicken, but it makes such a huge difference in the taste, the texture, and how moist the chicken is. I just got my butcher box. I will make sure that it is linked down in the description with $30 off of your first box. So if you've been on the hunt for an affordable grass-fed grass finish meats, all their meat is incredible. Some organic chicken stock almond milk of your choice or cashew milk, salt and pepper, a can of diced tomatoes, crushed red pepper flakes, garlic, and pasta, of course, to no surprise to anybody. I'm using my favorite fiber gourmet pasta. I decided to do the elbow shape. I think that'll be kind of a fun spin on this pasta dish. I love fiber gourmet for so many reasons. First of all, it is only 100 calories per serving. This is two ounces dry pasta versus 210 calories of traditional pasta. Less than half the calories, it is only two points for two ounces of pasta. Now traditional pasta is five to six points. So you save points, you save calories. You also get 25 grams of fiber, which is your entire day's worth as a woman versus two grams of fiber, 17 net carbs versus 41 if you're watching your carbs. And there's seven grams of protein in the pasta. It comes in elbows, penne, rotini, linguine, lots of different shapes. I find the best price and the biggest selection is on Nettrition. So I'll make sure Nettrition is linked down below for you. I buy it by the case. That's how much we love this pasta. The first thing I'm going to do is dice up my chicken into one inch cubes, mince a couple cloves of garlic, and dice up my onion. But to start our lunch prep, you're going to need either a Dutch oven or a very large stock pot. I went ahead and just chopped up four slices of the center cut bacon with some kitchen shears. We're going to allow this to cook until it's crispy. Once your bacon is nice and crispy, we're going to drain out all of the bacon grease. After draining all the grease, I went ahead and added in my chicken. Chicken. I'm going to cook it for three to five minutes just until the chicken is golden brown. After your chicken is cooked, we're going to add in the diced up onion and the minced garlic and allow this to cook until the onion is translucent. Once your onions are translucent, we're going to add the can of diced tomatoes. 
two cups of chicken broth, half of a cup of the almond milk. For me, the tiniest pinch of red pepper chili flakes, some pepper, salt, and the entire package of fiber gourmet pasta. And then we're going to stir this together, reduce the heat, cover it, and let it simmer until the pasta is tender. Once your pasta is cooked completely through, you wanna make sure that it's nice and soft. We're going to add in one cup of light shredded cheese and about a quarter of a cup of barbecue sauce. You can do more to taste. The barbecue sauce is very low point or zero point depending on the kind that you use. Stir that together. We're going to want this to warm through for a couple of minutes before serving. This looks so good and smells delicious. So this is the barbecue chicken pasta. I'm going to let this cool for a few minutes, put it into a storage container, and I'll be back to share serving size, points, and calories. I went ahead and divided my pasta into six bowls. The recipe makes six servings. This is a lot of pasta. I'm going to pair it with an additional vegetable, maybe a fruit, but this looks so good. You guys, it smells like a barbecue place in my house. So one bowl, again, six servings per batch, is going to be four points on the blue and purple plan. That's it for barbecue chicken pasta with bacon, four points. That is using the fiber gourmet pasta. Now, if you're on the purple plan, you could use a zero point pasta. You'll just have to recalculate on purple with the zero point pasta. Or if you don't use fiber gourmet, six points on the green plan, 229 calories per serving. So not bad at all. I can't wait to have this all week. For dessert this week, I am doing a spring summer recipe. I'm going to make a fresh strawberry pie. In addition to the ingredients here, you'll also need about a cup and a half of water. So you'll need a pie crust, fresh strawberries, sweetener alternative of your choice. This is the Lakanto monk fruit. As always, Lakanto will be linked down in the description box with a discount cornstarch, and one large or two small packages of sugar-free strawberry jello. The first thing for the pie is to spray your pie dish with some nonstick cooking spray, and then we're going to roll out the pie crust into the bottom of the baking dish and pull it up over the edges and then bake it per package instructions. What happened to us? What happened to all the love we always took for granted? Are we stranded? While the pie crust is in the oven, I have a rather good sized saucepan here. I'm going to add one and a half cups of water, three quarters of a cup of the monk fruit sweetener, and two tablespoons of cornstarch. We're going to bring this to a boil on the stove. This is what's going to make that thick gelatinous strawberry filling. So on the stove, you're going to bring that water, sugar alternative, and cornstarch mixture to a boil. And then we're going to add in the two packets or the one large packet of sugar-free strawberry jello. I added in the two packets of jello and you can see this is getting nice and thick. So I'm just going to consistently stir until I have that nice thick glaze. Pie crust is out of the oven. It looks great. I'm going to allow it to cool completely. Once your pie crust is cooled, we're going to add the four cups of strawberries. Are we stranded? Is it too late? Is it too late to color feelings that have faded? Complicated. This looks so good. Now I'm going to just spoon over that jello glaze mixture until the strawberries are fully covered and we've added all of the glaze. Look at this beautiful strawberry pie. For serving, you'll just put this in the refrigerator and allow it to set completely. It will become a harder glaze over those strawberries and you can serve immediately or store into your fridge for up to one week. Before I pop it in the fridge so we can have this with dinner tonight, let's go over points and calories. The strawberry pie makes eight servings, so you're going to get quite a good sized slice of pie. It is four points on all plans. That is it. You could top this with some whipped cream. You could even go crazy and add some vanilla ice cream. It's 130 calories per piece. So not bad at all. Thank you for joining me for another weekly WW meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. Don't forget they are all on my recipe website, which is linked at the top of the description box. If you enjoyed this meal prep, don't forget to give it a big, huge thumbs up. It means a lot to me and really, really helps out my channel. And of course, 
Also, if you're new and you're not part of the community, we'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell next to it so you never miss a meal prep video or another video in general. Links, discounts to my favorite things, nutrition coaching, and my Facebook group, don't forget to come join us, are all linked down in the description box. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.